Welcome to our home. Twist and I are so glad you're here because today we would love your help making a beautiful gift for some of our closest friends. Can you guess who they are? They love flowers more than anyone else I know. Danessa. Here I twist, Danessa. And Dint. Yep, and Sprint. We're making a flower wreath out of egg cartons for Danessa Deer and her bestie Sprint because they're always showing compassion to all living things. And we want to show them how thankful we are for their kindness with a gift that celebrates something unique and special about them. How about you make the one for Sprint? And you can make one for yourself or for a best friend too. Here's what you'll need. A pen or a pencil, a large piece of cardboard, egg cartons, safety scissors, non-toxic craft paint, paint brushes, a paint palette or an egg carton, green construction paper for leaves, and non-toxic glue. First, use a pen or pencil to trace a circle onto the cardboard. I like to use a large bowl. When you're done, take a smaller bowl and trace a smaller circle inside the larger circle. Remember, leave enough space between the smaller circle and the larger circle because that will be our space to put our flowers and our leaves. When you're done, cut it out. Then it will look like a giant ring. Next, use safety scissors to cut the egg cartons between the cups. It's a little more tricky than cutting paper and you'll have to squeeze a little harder, so make sure your fingers aren't in the way of your scissors as you squeeze. When you're done cutting the cups out, trim the edges. You can cut them into the flower petal shapes you like best. You can cut large V shapes around the edges or small V shapes close together in a zigzag. Or my favorite one, cut slits around the edges and then carefully pull them back to open the petals. My bestie Twist has been cutting leaves out of green construction paper all morning to add to our wreaths. Thanks bestie, you're getting good at that. Now for our favorite part, painting. painting! This will get a little messy. We always get paint on our paws and that's okay. It's part of the fun. Just make sure to lay some paper on the table before you start. When painting the wreath base, get around the edges really good. I like to use green so it looks like grass. When you're done painting the base, set it aside to dry. Now, paint your favorite colors on the flowers. What colors do you love, Twist? Ooh, pink, 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 I love pink. Just like you, that's great. I love picking lots of different colors for my flowers. Choose the ones you like best. Any colors you choose are going to look beautiful. Just like you. That's right, you're so caring, Twist. When you're done painting the flowers, Wash your brushes and hands and let them dry. Now that the paint has dried, we can glue everything onto our wreath base. If you want leaves on your wreath, glue those around the edges first so they can stick out from behind the flowers. Now we can glue on the flowers. I like to press mine on and hold them in place for 10 seconds. The glue isn't dry yet, so be careful not to bump the flowers as you finish gluing on the rest of them. And when you're done gluing your flowers on, set the wreath somewhere safe so the glue can dry completely. And we're finished! <laughs> Yay! Your wreath is ready to hang. <gasps> That's so pretty! Aw, thank you. I hope Danessa loves it. Let's see the one you made for Sprint. Mm, ta -da! <laughs> I love it! And yours is beautiful too! <sighs> Thanks for your help, Bestie. <sighs> Be sure to come back soon, friends. We have so many new ideas we would love to create with you. Until next time. Bye.